Hey teacher friend, welcome back to my channel. My name's Molly and I'm a fifth grade teacher who helps other teachers just like you streamline your literacy block so you can spend more time teaching and less time prepping. And in today's videos, I'm gonna tell you all about Math Daily Three Stations. As you know, I'm a big fan of the Daily Five, and once I realized there was a way to teach math the same way that I was doing literacy, I jumped right on it. And setting up those stations can be a little bit of work up front, but I promise you, you're going to love the result when you're done with it. My number one thing I wanna start by telling you is that Math Daily Three stations are meant for you to be able to teach and math small groups so that the rest of your class can be working independently. I'm not telling you how to teach math. So again, with the comments I got before about the science of reading when it came to daily five, math daily three is just the structure, not the instruction. You could be teaching the same tier one instruction for all of your math groups, which is something that I do, but how you structure them is completely up to you and what you're teaching ultimately is completely up to you. So it's just a great way to teach in small groups. And what I've noticed is that when I teach in Math Daily 3 stations, my students are much more likely to raise their hand and participate than they ever were before when I was teaching whole group, especially now that I'm in fifth grade. I started out whole group at the beginning. And even though I knew that I loved Math Daily 3, I thought, okay, the other teachers on my team, that's what they're doing. And I honestly really didn't love it. I noticed the same kids always raised their hands. It was hard to get the other kids engaged. And once I switched to three small math groups, the kids that didn't raise their hand were actively participating and engaging in our math lessons in ways that they never were in whole group. Now, I'm not saying that whole group is terrible. It's just my preference to do smaller groups. And so if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in that as well. Okay, my number two reason for Math Daily 3 stations and how to set them up for your math class is that you can create consistent expectations in Math Daily 3 using the Math Daily 3 method. So one thing I like to do is have my anchor chart ready to go and we go over Math Daily 3 expectations every day. And the great thing about them is that they mirror what you do during Daily 5. So you're gonna work the whole time, stay in one spot, level zero, get started right away and work on building your math stamina. I have my students repeat this every single day and it really sets the tone for them so that they know what they're working towards. We have a snack break after our math section and so it's a great time for me to let them earn a break so they can socialize during snack as well instead of having to stay at their table spots. This works 99% of the time if they're transitioning from station to station effectively, and you will find that your students will really be motivated to work for a break and have those expectations set every day that they're following them. All right, so one way that I really like to teach Math Daily 3 is having the same Excel spreadsheet or Google Sheets up on the smart board so my students know where to switch and keeping those stations the same every day. I think you'll find that you will use your voice so much less if you have them just projected up on the smart board and your kids can rotate. So you might want to try that out and I'll leave a link in the description box below for the exact way that I do it and you can find that in my Teachers Pay Teacher store. Okay, last, you're going to build your, your own students math stamina using Math Daily 3. So talking a lot about sustaining a certain activity is really part of building that stamina initially and then having the same expectations along the way does help build their, uh, their stamina. So what I mean by this is how long they can do something and really talking it up. And I've done this in kindergarten, I've done this in first grade, now I'm in fifth grade, so I know it works at any grade level. You just have to explicitly teach every station and go over those expectations every day so that your students consistently know what they're working on. All right, I hope this helps you get a good picture of math daily three stations. You can change up the activities depending on the unit of math that you're in, or you can keep them the same, but just tweak things here and there. It all depends on your level of tolerance for how much you wanna switch out activities. And just know that your students will love math daily three because it gives them independence, but it also helps build their math stamina. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.